Now we'll get back to the news here. Amendment would give legal status to people displaced by climate change. Okay. The Senate's immigration bill currently recognizes people who come to the U.S. may have no country to return to for a variety of reasons and allows them to come forward and apply for legal status as a stateless person. But one cause for displacement that is overlooked in current law is how climate change has caused people to lose their homes and nationality. Now, let's, let's think about this in context. Okay, so let's say you came here illegally eight years ago, all right? So you're from a place, and during those eight years, you encounter... Uh, you encounter immigration and immigrants say, hey, we got to get you out of this country because you're here illegally. You say, hold on, my homeland was destroyed by a tornado or an earthquake or a hurricane or whatever. Oh, okay, that's perfectly fine. Since you, there's a big disaster where you came from, you can stay here and that's not a problem. I have a problem with that. Uh, they broke the law in the first place. It, it's my deal. Why do we have laws? when we reward the people who can break them the best. It's just like, you know, we have a border fence, we have a border patrol, we have immigration, but if you can elude all these things and make it to these places like in California and other places, well, they'll just give you a free driver's license. They'll give you worker permits and whatever else. They'll give you, I'll let you have your babies for free and so forth. And once again, I'm not hateful to anybody. Uh, I don't have this closed door U.S. policy. I believe that we should have ways for people to come here, um, joining the military, naturalization and so forth. But just to award people who can break the laws the best is just completely ridiculous to me. We'll move on to our last article of the night. FBI received an aviation clearance for at least four domestic drone operations. The documents provide virtually no detail on where the FBI operated drones in U.S. airspace, for what purpose or for how long the missions lasted. But they shed some additional light on the origins and extent of the FBI's secretive drone program. Now, let's think about this. Uh, Mueller, the FBI director, is saying, you know, we had a few drones, but it's not a big deal, and you guys shouldn't really care about it. And he goes and say, like, very few drones and had a very small footprint in a very minimal way and all this stuff, just trying to completely minimize it, completely ignoring the fact that this wasn't supposed to be going on anyway, and they also denied it. The U.S. has for a very long time saying that they never used drones domestically, even though we have documented well before the FBI got around to admitting it, how they're using drones on the U.S. Canada border, U.S. Mexico border, and then also uh, police are getting uh, the smaller drones, not the big predators, but you know the smaller things that you can go buy at a retail store. And people say, well, you can go buy it at a retail store. What's the big deal? You can attach cameras to these things. Some of these things have cameras built into them. And yes, these things could be good used for good uh, resources, such as uh, finding lost people and so forth. But a lot of these things are used to spy on people. And even the smaller drones that you can go buy at an electronic store, you can fit a gun to it. You can go to YouTube right now, type in people with, you know, attaching guns to drones. And people you do it. You know, FBS Russia has one. I mean, these things do exist. These things can be made. So just keep that in mind next time you say, well, it's only a small drone. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. All right, so that's the end of our news broadcast. We'll go now to our quote of the day. This by Carl Jung. In all chaos, there is a cosmos. In all disorder, a secret order. And that's our quote of the day. Now stay tuned. After this break, we'll be right back with Dan Badandi. He's going to be interviewing veterans about Monsanto. I'm sure that's going to be very interesting. But in the meantime, before we get to the break, if you like this broadcast and you'd like to see it continue, especially if you're watching this on YouTube, consider becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. It's our resource. We can go and see the nightly news, the Alex Jones show, the rants, all that is right there on PrisonPlanet.tv. And also check out the InfoWars shop. Pick up State of Mind. You can get it also on Blu-ray as well as DVD. And it comes with a free American Dream. That's a great film all by itself. But this is only $19.95 for, uh, for the DVD, 5 bucks more for the Blu-ray. So check those both out. Alex is in uh, State of Mind. And also check out uh, The American Dream, both great films at InfoWars Shop. So that's it for this. And stay tuned for Dan Badandi. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.